So I wanted to take a second to show you guys something. So I wrote that, I deleted a few points uh, from our last exercise, and I, I wanted to look at that mathematical equation again. The my number 13 and the my other number, which is my number times two. What happens when I do division? What's gonna happen? Take a second, pause the video, actually type this stuff out and see what happens. Okay, so you hopefully have taken some time to pause it, but I want to take a look at this. So I've compiled my code. When I run this, I get a 6. Now, if you've been playing the home game for a second, 13 divided by 2 is 6.5, not 6. So what happened to that missing number? Well, again, if we think about what happens with an integer, an integer is a whole number. Whole number meaning that it, I don't get a decimal place. So what actually happened to that 0.5? It was actually truncated. It was removed completely. So how do I solve this? There are a number of different ways. One of them is that instead of using an integer, I could change these to something called a double. And then if I compile it, I get my 6.5. That's actually one of the few ways. You have to make sure that it is, in fact, a decimal place. So what happens if, say, for example, we comment out those two codes? And I'm going to just take this, copy and paste it and then hide one. I'm doing something called commenting out code so that I don't have to start a new program just to demonstrate things for you. The reason why I mention this is what happens if I did 13 divided by 2 inside here? Well obviously I'll, I'll I won't actually tell you. Take a video, take a pause, and do this. And there we are. So I pause it, I, uh, I compile it, I run it, I get a 6 again. So how do I, just by doing this, how do I get that 6.5? Right now, both of these are being interpreted as integer literals. A big word there, but all I'm saying is that because they're only used once, they have to be interpreted some way by Java. Right now, they're being interpreted as a literal, uh, integer. So what happens is, instead, I change one of these. Instead of it being a whole number, I give it a decimal place. I only have to give one a decimal place, luckily, because Java's smart enough that it will see that if one of them is a decimal, make the entire equation a decimal. 